Hi, my name is Rochelle and I'm a pet room manager at Zamzos and I'm here today to talk to you about setting up an enclosure for a snake. Now this is going to be generalized for most of your snake species. Um, we have our website to refer to if you need more specific information on a certain species of snake. But most of what I'll set up today is going to be good for most varieties of snakes. Now the first thing I have in here um, is the Zilla Fur and Sphagnum Peat Moss Mix. This is a good bedding for most snakes. It can be moistened with like a spray bottle for snakes that need a higher humidity and it will retain a lot of the moisture because it has the peat moss mixed in. Um, you can also let it dry out for snakes that need a drier climate. And this is a 40 breeder um, Zilla tank. So it is a good size for like an adult ball python or if you had a couple of snakes or a juvenile that will fit in here. But a lot of species um, like your red-tailed boas will outgrow this enclosure and need something larger. Now one thing that you can do is put an under tank heater on the cage. Um, especially in winter a lot of our homes are colder and um, the snakes need more warmth at night, so you would put that down underneath the tank um, at the same end as your heat lamp. And then that would stay plugged in all the time, and then you'd turn your heat lamp off at night. Now the next thing you're going to set in here, um, you would want to put your water dish in here. I usually put those in the middle. Um, you want a nice big water dish that your snake can ideally fit in. Um, obviously that's going to change as your snake grows, but they need something big enough to soak in if they wanted to get in their dish and soak, such as when they're shedding. And then they need two hiding spots, one at the cool end of the cage and one at the warm end. So I have two different things here for them to hide under, one at each end. And depending on the species of snake, some are very arboreal, they like to have branches to climb on, some are more ground dwelling, some even burrow under the dirt. So if you have an arboreal species, you would want to put some branches in there for them to climb on. That way they can get up to a heat source and um, bask under it if they so choose. So you can do that. And then you can put plants in here um, to help decorate the tank. Um, they will give, the smaller snakes can climb on these as well, so that will give them something to climb on and help add some greenery to the tank. It always looks nice if it's a more natural looking environment. And then one thing that you will definitely need is um, a temperature gauge and um, a hygrometer which will, level, which will read your level of humidity. Now your temperature gauge you want to put at the same end as your heat lamp and you want to put it in about the middle height of the tank so that you can tell what the temperature is under the actual heat lamp. If you put it at the opposite end of the tank you won't know how warm it is down there for the snake. The hygrometer can be placed anywhere. Um, it will give you a level of humidity and you can adjust that by misting your tank down with a spray bottle or um, Zilla makes a tropical mist humidifying spray that works excellent as well. So you can mist down the substrate and the animal themselves as they are shedding. Another thing that's good when they are shedding is the uh, Zilla Shed Ease. You can put this directly in water and soak them in that and that will help them shed as well. And then for a heat lamp, you want to make sure and put that at one end and that will sit on top of the screen. So say we're going to make this our heat end then you want to leave it down at this end. And the only light that the snakes need is a heat lamp. Snakes actually do not need UV like um, lizards or other reptiles do. So they only need a heat source. 
And depending on the type of snake, since this is a larger cage, it's farther to the bottom of the cage, you're going to need a pretty high wattage of bulb. There's a couple of different ones here. The infrared bulbs are good um, at night if you need a heat source at night. Um, and they are also good for daytime as well. Um, a lot of your snakes, like ball pythons, are pretty shy, so if you use an infrared bulb, um, they'll actually be more active because it's not daylight to them. And then you can also use the um, 150 watt, this is 150 watt uh, daylight. This is good for like your red tail boas and uh, things like that. And that will be plenty of heat for them. Those two species in particular like to have a spot that's about 85 to 90 degrees um, to bask in. And then at night you don't want to let them get much below about 75 to 70. Otherwise, they get too cool, they'll try to hibernate. And for any other information on setting up a snake enclosure, go to zamzos.com.